Thank you so much for listening and paying attention and being my friend and loving me in the ways that I need to be loved and acknowledged and accepted. I'm in so much peace at this present time and it's funny because things have been kind of wild for me. <sighs> There's been like a lot of stress and worry. <sighs> the neurologist has called three times or should I say it's assistant? So I'm going to have to commit and pick a date. And when they first called me, they were trying to basically schedule me really close to my partner's birthday. And I didn't really like that because at the time I was planning on seeing him or him coming to see me or something of that. Though it may be that I won't be seeing him for a little while longer so it may be most appropriate for me to go ahead and follow through with this doctor's appointment and figure out, you know, what's going on with my head and triple check everything in there and see how the brain scans come up, especially after doing combo and like, you know, ayahuasca and basically remapping the brain and doing all these amazing things like the Babinski reflex. Oh, it's been amazing working with joy and learning all these different intricate things about the body. It's made me inspired to become a massage therapist in addition to the path of basically becoming an acupuncturist. <sighs> There's so many different things going on. My head is kind of swirling. I want to say that I have 12 credits left until I'm done with my AA or maybe it's 12 hours or... I have it written down, so I'm kind of like still in this intricate process of redeveloping myself in a way that brings me satisfaction with myself. And it's really, really important to me to be generating a stable ground of comfort and reliable income and most of all, I am interested in finding a way to purchase a home so that my family, I guess you can say, when it all hits the fan, you know, <laughs> or when things come tumbling down, that they have somewhere to go and they don't have to worry so much about that part. and. And some levels, I probably should be thinking of myself as well, you know, and generating that for myself. However, I don't really have any attachments to that at this time. I am interested in going to school and generating some type of education, if you will. So that way I have what I would call a backbone. As much as I love doing readings... There's part of me that is interested in becoming like an acupuncturist or a traditional Chinese medicine doctor, if you will. I'm also interested in the shamanic practices. There is a big opportunity coming up. However, the cost is $3,000 if I'm interested in becoming a licensed, if you will, <laughs> combo practitioner. So I have like a lot to think about. All I can do is put it out there and say, universe, I'm interested in this, this, and this. And what I'm doing right now is I'm attempting to do my very best to focus and concentrate and keep reading. I have so many books. If you only knew how many books I have, I'm so spoiled in books. However, what I'm not spoiled in is my discipline and actually sitting and being with myself. I'm constantly focused on others instead of focusing on myself, on my future Trina. So it's important for me to really reflect, you know, in the next five years, the next 10 years, where do I really choose to be? What will I allow? What shall continue? I encourage you to do the same and to give yourself permission to actually receive things that bring you joy. 
Though at the same time, please do not focus on things that you just may think and daydream may bring you satisfaction. Recognize that it's best not to constantly chase the next best thing and that it's important for you to find ways to be graceful and intricately loving what you have right now and see your opportunity and the power within your hands to take responsibility for yourselves, your feelings, and acknowledging where you are at. Are you broken? Are you lost? Are you confused? Are you lonely? Are you hungry? Are you longing? Are you resisting? Are you in denial? You have to trust your feelings instead of trusting the narrator in your head, the ego that constantly tells you stories that aren't necessarily always true. Mm. My buddy. Hello. So please take a few moments to be with yourself. At least. They call that meditation. It's your concentrated focus. People think that you have to clear your head of everything. That's not true. It's a matter of just being able to concentrate. And to allow the self to just be. And allow... My aunt always taught me that God wants to talk in the silence. The angels want to talk in the silence too, right? Use your imagination. I was taught that the word imagine is I'm a genie. So what are you imagining? What is your will? Do you wish for good things to happen to people? Are you punishing others and judging them with your thoughts and your intentions and your awareness? Or are you recognizing the blessing of your power and your ability to help them through this transition and this inability to see their full selves as you see them? Do you have compassion for them and their wounds? Are you capable of understanding? Are you capable of understanding your own wounds or are you in denial and saying that you are fine and that you feel great? A lot of times those are stories and not necessarily true and it's important for you to acknowledge what pain remains beneath the surface so that you can address what needs healing still within yourself. Sometimes it helps to notice the reactive habitual patterns that happen consistently. I'd like to take a moment to exercise silence and may this be a thank you to those of you who have been contributing and listening and following through on my requests. What an honor. May you continue to be this way. Thank you. I love you, and there's nothing you can do about it. Namaste. Chai